welcome back this is Andrea Mandavi I'm back for another video long time no talk I really just want to come and talk to y'all about you know I want to give a cute little life update I feel like it's been a while we haven't really talked much lately and you know mainly because I've had a lot going on honestly like I haven't really been doing too much but now I feel like I am I got a few things to talk about I got a few good things to share and you know y'all my peoples i started out with y'all y'all i was gonna hear my updates here everything that's gonna happen what's been going good what's been going great so first things first i got me a new car yay me Ooh, ooh. okay i finally upgraded from my 1991 to a 2017 okay finally got me cute little 2017 so the girl got me a little car payment and all that so i feel like i'm a grown-ass woman right now because baby, shit's, shit's expensive. I finally got enough little coin for me to be able to afford something that I actually wanted. And I'm glad I was able to do that because, you know, I was so tired of driving around this little raggedy 91, baby. And you started up, baby, ding, 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 ding. It was just, mm -mm, it just wasn't giving what it needed to give, y'all. It was so annoying. Also, I upgraded my phone. My phone, I got me an 11. It's not a 13. But it's an 11, so I will take that, which I'm recording off of now. And as you can see, it's it's pretty decent video. I feel like I look good in it. Okay, giving my cute little Victoria Monet 70s little vibe going on. I fucks with it. And, you know, I had to upgrade my camera because I was just so tired of my old phone. Because I had went from a 6S and now I got an 11. So, girl, this year is just about upgrading it's about me it's just about bettering myself and getting the things that i want and not focusing on nothing else because it's all about me this year is all about me like i haven't really thought about no niggas like that i don't not really talking to nobody i'm not you know i'm not really focused on men like how i was in the past like girl this is the time you're supposed to focus on you you need to figure out what you want to do with your life you need to figure out what you want and stop just you know trying to you know just stop living for other people's approval which i was never really doing but just stop trying to like look for some whatever is for you is gonna come to you that's what i'm figuring out like i'm not gonna chase after no nigga if a nigga wants me he will come and find me he will do what needs to be done to get my attention he will you know go about what he needs to go about or you know jobs like girl a job that wants me girl i'm gonna call up on it but Girl, I'm not finna just blow your line because you really want me to see my motherfucking qualifications. You gonna call me. So that's just going for much of everything in my life. Friends, friendships, like I'm done reaching out all of the time. If you know you want to come hang out with me, you can call me. You can hit me up. You can FaceTime me, girl. We can chill. We can chat. But I'm not going to, you know, be the one who's always going to reach out and calling and texting. Like I also deserve that same sort of care so yeah like i said a lot has been going on a lot has been updated in my life um i plan on getting surgeries let's talk about that some surgeries might be coming up in the near future let's hope at least one or two by the end of the year that's what i'm really trying to strive for because baby i'm not paying for this insurance for nothing because girl i'll work at starbucks they have good insurance, so they have insurance for trans um, affirming surgeries. So I've gotten both my letters for surgery. I've got a consultation coming up on, I think like on the 6th, I got a consultation coming up in Chicago. I'm going to head up there. And, you know, I'm going to like talk to a doctor because I'm trying to, get, trying to get the girls done. I know they look good now, but that's just good. Of course, I got on a good bra and hormones have done what they needed to do. But also, hold on, let's, let's rewind off of surgeries. Okay, you know what? I'm already having surgery, so we're just going to talk about surgeries. And then I'll just get into more minuscule things. Actually, no, fuck that. We're going to talk about the minuscule, then we're going to build up to the surgeries. So, first things first. I end up getting laser hair removal. Yay, me. Okay, like, I know I've been transitioning for like 9 to 10 years. And I never had laser hair removal. But thing is, I don't know what, it's like when I had like 26, 27... I don't know. It's like I was just constantly shaving because before I wasn't really worried about it. But like I just like constantly started shaving like every other day. Like I just felt like my hair was just 
consistently growing and it just like nothing was the hormones weren't slowing enough like it did like earlier when I first started transitioning so girl I had to get laser hair removal so I purchased me a little package and girl smooth 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 like it's amazing like I don't have that much of a shadow anymore you can't really tell because I have on makeup but also like it just feels like under here like Girl, ain't nothing worse than you lay on a nigga chest like this. And girl, yo, yo chin is scraping up his stomach, girl. It's not cute. <laughs> it's just not cute. So, yes, I should have done that a long time ago, but I'm just now getting into it. So, girls, always get your laser hair removal at, as fast as you can. Because I did not know how much of a relief it would be once I started my laser hair removal on my face. Like... I don't know how much dysphoria that would leave, but girl, it really does. Because, like, I don't feel the need to wear as much makeup because I don't have as much that I feel like I need to cover up. So, I can, like, take off my makeup and I'll be okay and not have to worry about, like, oh, a shadow or, oh, I got to cover this up or I got to cover up my pickles. And I don't because it's not there anymore. So, ladies, good transition tip. Number one transition tip or two, get on your moans, girl, and get your laser. Because your laser is going to help so much. It like smooths your skin out. It makes you look more feminine. makes you look more passable. It adds more comfort to you in your life. And honestly, it's like one of the best things I ever did. And I don't know why I never did it before. But sometimes we're late to the party. And I was late. But girl, I've arrived. <laughs> okay, I've arrived. I'm here now. So that's all that matters. All that matters is rather show up late than not on time at all. Okay, and also... I have gotten on hormones legally, okay? I have finally started taking hormones from a provider. Because before, like I said, girl, I was in the black market hormones online from, you know, y'all know the website. Because I really don't have to see a psychiatrist and all this and this and that. But honestly, it wasn't that bad. I just literally applied to go to this gender health clinic. Um, and then they did me like a cute little video did a little video chat back and forth and I was like okay well girl we will prescribe your hormones I'm like oh perfect like I had to answer a few questions it wasn't nothing like as deep thought as I thought it would be because number one I had already been transitioning for so long anyway so I was like girl what really do you have to assess like I'm already doing the shit just get me on my hormones so I got my more hormones and then I started taking this shot like this is the first time I've had ever taken a hormone shot because before I was only taking pills and because Girl, I don't want to have to order something that I would have to inject into my body online. I'd rather just pop a pill if I'm going to have to order something online, y'all. I know it's still kind of backwards, but regardless, I just felt safer taking pills offline versus taking something in a vial and injecting it into myself. Like, ugh. So, yeah, I had now started um, hormones, like, through the little vial and injecting them. So, yeah, I'm now on the shots instead of the pills. And honestly, like the girls say, the pill works, I mean, the um shot works so much better. Like, it really does. Like, I feel like it finally redistributed more fat to my face that I wasn't seeing after a while when I was on pills. I feel like it, it's definitely re-softened my body again. Like, all that early hormone stuff that you really hear, like, I just felt it re... It just, like, it's just happening again for the first time, and it's, like, even better. It's a better accuracy. You know, I've gotten more thigh... Um, my breasts started growing again because my breasts hadn't grown in years. They had to go to like that bud feeling when you first start growing breasts and like it's really hard and then it starts to get sensitive. Your nipples all it's like I haven't had that happen since like maybe year two, three is when I was on hormones. But yeah, um, it happened again. So like the breasts have gotten bigger, you know. They've gotten bigger, but I still want them done. They're still going to get done. So they're still going to get done. <laughs> Um, what else is new? What else is new as far as that? Yeah, my skin's gotten a lot softer. I feel like my booty getting a little thicker. Because before, like, I don't know, my booty was just always hard. It wasn't really, it was like more muscular because I like had done sports forever. So it never really softened my body like I wanted to. And also, I'm still in a low dose now. So my body's not completely as soft as I want it to be. But it's still like, it's a lot softer than it was. And it's making me feel more better about myself. And it's much just like the face stuff, like, ah, oh, the distribution of that fat baby to make me just feel so much better about myself that she, like, I don't know. It's just, oh, girl, just things are good. Things are good right now. Things are really good. Um, What else is new that I can tell you guys about? Oh, yeah, surgery surgeries. 
So yeah, I want to get my boobs done. I got a letter to get my boobs done. Um, I found a surgeon in Chicago. Like I said, I'm going on the 6th to go to a consultation to talk about my breast. Because like I said, I do want to get them bigger. Because like I said, I've waited 19 years. Not going to get any bigger. They've gotten a little bit bigger since I started the injections. But they haven't got as big as I want them to be. To me, to be as more comfortable. But like, I like them now. But I want to love them. I want them to just be va va voom, baby. I want all of the cleavage without having to wear a bra. I want all of the va va voom without the bra. So, Yeah. I think we're going to record that for y'all when I go talk to him. Yeah, I'm going to probably record it. See if I can do a cute little vlog when I go out there to Chicago. I'm going to make it a cute little day trip, something like that. It's going to be great. It's going to be really great. Um, And also, I have decided that I want SRS. SRS, if y'all guys don't know what that is, that is sexual reassignment surgery or gender reassignment surgery. So... I'm going to be getting that piece snip snipped how I want me my puss bus bus and I think I'm ready I feel like I'm finally ready I know in a previous video I had stated that I didn't want SRS because I still wanted a child but I'm just like with the way things are going on in the world and just my capacity at the moment I really don't feel like I would be a great parent at the moment I do feel like eventually yes but also I feel like in order to be a parent I feel like I don't have to have my own biological child because honestly how many trans people out there do you know that have their own biological children like I mean I'm, there are some but only really if you get with another trans person like if a trans woman gets with a trans man they can have a kid together but me it's just me and I don't girl I don't want my peace no more I'm just tired of it like oh I'm just tired of it girl I'm tired of tucking um especially just like tucking every day and just being comfortable. Like when I want to wake up and go out and get me some water. When I, I just, just got to plop her in there. Or, you know, if I'm at the club, I just got to readjust her. If I'm moving too much, it's just, girl, I'm tired. It's become such an inconvenience to me at this moment. And I just thought my life is just going to be so much better. After SRS, because it's going to be one less thing for me to worry about. One less hassle for me to deal with. And also, when it comes to sex, especially now that I'm on, um these legal hormones and stuff like that they're a lot stronger so i honestly do not have a sex drive at the moment girl niggas gotta be so motherfucking loud i can never be quiet damn but now like i feel like i um i don't have a sex drive anymore so i don't get pleasure from that when i'm having sex and when people are trying to go down it's just like it's just literally obsolete right now. It's just like a dead appendage just hanging there like, girl, what are you there for? Because nothing's going to happen. I'm not, you're not doing what needs to be done. And I just, I'd rather just get rid of you, girl. So yeah, I'm on SRS. I have started the journey of laser hair removal now. I feel like I, I got a clip from when I first did laser hair removal. So I might insert it here somewhere. But girl, that honestly isn't as bad. It's really not that bad because my face hurt a lot worse. Like, because when I get my lace face laser, I get right here and I get right here in the neck. Because that's all my problem areas were. But like that, baby, the top of that lip. Whoo, the top of that lip be. Oh, God, I sting. It sting a little bit. It always runs a little tear to my eye. But like the genital area, that honestly was more like a, a 4 out of a 10 versus like a 5 or 6 out of 10 to my face it honestly wasn't that bad and girl it was just so awkward honestly like i was just like okay this is what i want done she's like okay well take off your um take off your pants and lift your legs up i'm like oh well, girl this is so personal she's like all right spread your legs lift it up i'm like oh she bloop, 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 bloop. like she just zapping away bitch i'm just like oh 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 but also like she gave me these two little stress balls so i'm just like oh Every time, like, because I got two of them, so I just got one in one hand. Uh, 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 uh. While she's just zapping away on my motherfucking pubes. But I'm like, okay, girl. It was over in like 10, 15 minutes. So, honestly, it didn't take that long. And so, I got to get those lazy hair removal sessions out of the way before I start my SRS journey. So, yeah. That's one of the good things I got to get a head start on. Because, girl, of course, you got to get all that lace at all. 
uh, it's supposed to be electrolysis, but girl, I'm going to focus on laser for right now. And if I have anything left over, then I will get like, I will go through and get some electrolysis to clean it all up. But I'm going to start with some laser, girl. We're going to start with the laser. But yeah, that's, um, those are my plans right now. That's all the stuff that's new in my life. I'm probably, gonna, like I said, going to record it on Saturday when I go for my consultation. And I'll let y'all know everything that happens and what he says and all the things I got to do. And, you know, if I'm ever going to get a date. So, welcome to my SRS journey. So, I'm excited to share this part of my life with you. I'm excited to have this new chapter of my life come. And, you know, I'm glad to take you guys on the ride with me. So, if you guys would just like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Sipping with Siblings podcast. You know, I set my podcast with my siblings on Apple Podcasts, um, Google Podcasts, Spotify, all that good stuff. So check me out and be tuned in for my next couple videos. So I will see you all later. Bye.